Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I'm going to be discussing the second half of my new release soldering solutions. The first video, of course, dealt with UWA's 908 Plus soldering iron kit that I've put together. Now, if you haven't seen that, it's a general kit uh, for more or less the casual user of uh, that actually requires a high quality soldering set. Um, this unit right now I'm going to discuss is their 995D Plus model from UWA. For those of you who didn't catch that video, of course, uh, you wouldn't know who I'm talking about, but UWA is an, uh, an actual uh, Asian distributor of soldering equipment again all their units are ISO 9001 certified so the quality is certainly where it should be and I was basically on a mission because I've gotten asked so many times what soldering equipment I would recommend and typically if I said well or whatnot I myself would end up usually having issues with the units or had multiple issues with the units like I have over the years whether it be American Beauty once again Weller uh, Heiko US distributed, Heiko Asian distributor, they either did not come fully equipped for the price that they were asking or the accessories that the units came with were just not up to par. And that's what really set me out on a mission. Um, I actually was contacted by UWA, which once again is an Asian distributor of soldering equipment. That's all they actually distribute. And they offered to send me one of their units to test. I've used it now in excess of five months, and that's this is the actual unit I'm using. It's designed for SMD uh, rework. It is an ESD safe unit, and this is a completely autonomous digital soldering station. And I wanted to actually show you guys the manual. We'll start there. Again, the manual does have some Asian writing in it, and the U.S. translation of the English is very well done. Again, there are some rough spots, but I mean, very, very minimal. Um, the What I really like is that you've got full color illustrations of the unit as you go through. And on top of that, we've got some great specs here. The unit is rated at 720 watts, which is more than enough for virtually any application. Uh, this particular unit that I'm offering is the 110 volt version. I can get the AC220 volt versions for, once again, all of my international clients just contact me. And keep in mind that any of the actual uh, consumables that are included with this unit that are liquids, I cannot ship them internationally due to customs. So please don't ask me on that, many of you understand that but as we cover this kit you'll see why uh, in a very short amount of time the actual uh, heat gun that is integrated in the soldering station is a, utilizes a brushless fan um, again with 720 watts guys these units heat up very very quickly I would say tops 25 to 30 seconds I've checked the temperature on these units using my fluke 179 and I can tell you that usually they're within a couple degrees I mean they're very very well made and again they hold temperature really really well um, again full digital controls I have my unit right over here so I just wanted to give you just a taste of what the user's manual looks like so everybody can see and again you do have a calibration feature on here so if you guys do have uh, a multimeter with uh, actual temperature readings on it you can calibrate your own unit again in the back of the unit you do have all the different soldering tips and that's just like the 908 plus and I was very impressed with that okay um, again it's just great to have cross-referencing general parts again I do get questions on that now that I'm a dealer if you guys do need parts get with me I can replace virtually anything um, now we're going to come over what's included with this kit um, let's start with our consumables because again Many of you already know I'm a Kester fanboy simply because as far as I'm concerned, Kester manufactures the best soldering consumables on the market. Once again, no different than the 908 Plus kit, you'll be receiving a two ounce uh, bottle with the micro needle tip, which will dispense probably a, a drop to two drops of uh, no, no clean 186 RMA flux at your disposal. And again, this two ounce bottle should last you guys um, easily well within the year of its actual shelf rating. Um, another accessory that I feel no soldering station is ever complete with, especially if you're doing rework, is the desoldering braid. For those of you not familiar with desoldering braid, if you make a mess up in the sense that you actually apply too much solder to your joint, or if you're doing rework and that blob looks huge, this tin braided copper, or actually, excuse me, braided copper is saturated in RMA flux, and you simply just contact this with the actual blob of solder you want to remove and heat it with the iron itself, and it will absorb the excess solder a very very well required necessity when you're working on anything with rework many of you already know that um, coming over here of course for our solder and again I've got a full spool here on my unit 
Um, this is the Kester number 44 rosin core solder. Again, uh, this is a leaded solder and you will be receiving 2.35 ounce bottles. I have guys ask me, well, exactly how much is 0.35 ounce? Well, in each bottle is roughly 10 feet of solder to get you guys started. Okay, I use a pound at a time because I'm doing a lot of soldering, but um, overall for most application use, this is a great start to get you, you know, moving in the right direction. Now, flux remover. I cannot tell you guys, even though we're using RMA Flux, if you ever get the flux on anything, and I've said this in the previous video, you'll be very, very appreciative that this is included. Uh, flux remover, I don't have to tell you guys, as you do your own research, is very expensive. If you're doing rework type stuff, it's a must. This flux remover, again, comes 1.2 ounces. It's a hard plastic bottle, screw-on removable cap, and you're set to go with this. What I love about the dispensing using a bottle is the fact, number one, it's precision. You're not spraying your whole shop in an aerosol. You're also not losing 60 to 65% of your product because, of course, it's being dispensed all over the place. This, once again, using one to two drops, it allows you to precisely put the flux remover where you need it. And again, I don't have to tell you guys, flux remover can be used for a lot of different general applications in cleaning. One thing is for certain, when you use the Kester product, you'll get that beautiful chrome finish you're looking for. Um, another major accessory, which I feel is never included, I said this in the previous video as well, is your water bottle for your sponge. Um, every soldering station I've seen comes with a sponge, never comes with a water bottle. Um, I know that sounds kind of nitpicky, but I'm telling you now, when I sit down, uh, like many of you, when you're working, the worst thing you want to do is have to get up, go wet the sponge, come back. This is so easy to have on your desk, and to me, it's just one of those accessories that you wish you had. As far as tips, we all know you really need every tip available when you're doing rework, and that's why I've included them all. And you can see these are UWAS Pro Tips. You can see that they're actually labeled. Um, again, very, very well-made tips. I have my own iron right here. And I've used this tip now for going on over five months. And again, the tip and the iron works absolutely flawlessly. Um, the station itself, you can see exactly what it comes with. Uh, it does have uh, four actual holders for your actual tips. And you can see I've used even the micro tip. Other than the slight discoloration, of course, from heat, everything is perfect. You do get your spool holder. And again, uh, most of you already realize this, you are getting the two bottles of solder. You are not getting the actual spool that I have in the video. This is my own uh, actual spool. You will be getting the actual uh, brass uh, ball to actually clean your tip. Again, many of you have asked questions on that. I still use the sponge. Naturally, use your actual uh, brass cleaning bowl to dip the iron in. Once you dip the iron in, you come over here and actually clean that. Now, I like to set it up in the way that this actual uh, holder is set up. It is a metal holder. Again, I've gotten asked about that. And this is all metal as well. The only thing that's plastic is the actual spool holder. Very well made, very easy to work with. What I really like is that if you push the actual brass ball all the way up, it locks it. So it puts like a nice firm pressure on the tip to make cleaning much, much easier. Um, as far as turning on the unit, I'm going to show you that in a second. But let's cover one other accessory because again, as I said, these tips mandatory, every tip available, all 10. Last accessory, I've discussed this in the previous video as well. This, these are flush cutters. Many of you already realize flush cutters are extremely important when dealing with electronics. If you need to snip wires, if you need to skin leads, and you do not have room to use you know, automatic wire strippers, these are imperative. They're spring-loaded. They are, of course, stainless steel. And again, extremely beneficial to have if you're doing any type of work with leads in general. Um, that's naturally included. Um, another really, really nice feature that I feel is, uh, I call it a feature, but it's actually an accessory, um, and you'll appreciate having one, is an end user mat. Now this is a silicone mat, 12 by 14. It does have a uh, low power magnet on the back. What I really love about this mat is again, it's super easy to clean. I've used mine over and over again. I've seen a lot of different ones on the market that are really thin. This unit's actually very thick and uh, it's probably about a mil and a half thick and it just works extremely well. What's really neat about it too, if you're doing any type of rework and disassembly, you have numbered little boxes here for your screws. So you could put one assembly under number one, another assembly under number two and just keep a little pad handy and note how you're actually using all of these little boxes for sub-assemblies if you have small screws. Then you have bigger box 
uh, bigger actual uh, pockets for larger screws and then the large one, which I typically use just to stand all my consumables. Um, again, guys, this is included so that naturally your work area will be very, very clean. Okay, these are of course will be available separately. If you see something in the package that you want, just let me know what you want. And of course we can get that because I know I get questions on that all the time. This I feel is imperative to be included with the actual um, iron kit. So let's go over now, we'll go over the iron package, it's, or excuse me, the soldering station itself. Give you everything out over here. So everything's nice and clean. And then we can go over the iron. So here we go. Here's the actual station itself. Um, very heavy unit. It, it's a beautiful metal box. Uh, it does have a large LCD. I'm gonna turn it on in a sec. And we'll power up just the iron. And then we'll power up, and you can power on each individual uh, unit as far as the gun itself and the iron. You can see the iron's heating up right now. Once she gets to 800 degrees, which is what I usually leave my setting at, she will wait one minute, which is what I have the sleep function set at. And if you don't use the iron within one minute, she will go down to 200 degrees Celsius, which breaks down to about 396 degrees. So again, sleep mode will definitely keep your consumables where they need to be. Many of you, like me, you may get a phone call and all of a sudden you have to stop soldering for whatever and you forget you left it on. She'll go into sleep mode. So again, your consumables will be there. You can see she's flashing to let you know she's now reaching temperature and you're set. Uh, the heat gun has got the autonomous feature as well. Uh, I'll turn her on now. You can see I have her set at 375, no more burn parts. Um, if you're doing, again, I do a lot of heat shrinking. Uh, I deal with various types of heat shrink for my guys doing SMD work. You can set this all the way up. Again, the knob on it is very simple to adjust. You can adjust your volume of air. You can see it going up and down. As you lift this, she'll automatically turn on. Uh, the tips that come with the unit, you will get four assorted tips. Of course, I'm using a precision tip right here, and you can hear how quiet she is. Again, she'll reach 375. What I really love about this, once you're done, just place her back. You'll hear her, now she accelerates the fan module up, and that's so it can expel and it's cooling itself down. Once it reaches its cooling temperature, it will turn itself automatically off. So again, full autonomous control. You do have uh, three channels that you can set. There she goes. She reached temperature and she now shut off. You've got three temperatures that you can preset and you're all set. Like I said, you can also set, of course, the potentiometer not only sets the soldering temperature, once again, it sets the hot air, which we've already done. So again, very, very simple unit to use and lots of great features. Again, I have her on auto mode. You can do manual mode and, and you can see I also have her on channel one. You come over to channel two, come over to channel three, and you're set. So again, as far as a really compact soldering station that's certainly not going to break the bank and also come with all required accessories as far as consumables, I'm telling you now, you guys will do your own research. This is an amazing package. Um, another really great feature because as you use your soldering equipment more, there is always the potential for part failure. You can just replace the iron on these. Um, again, a lot of U.S. distributors do that as well, but the part replacement is still ultra cheap. So again, that's the whole concept here is that you're getting maximum quality with, uh, if, even if you do have to replace something, it's still very cheap. And once again, if you guys have to only purchase certain parts, message me, being a dealer, I can get whatever you need. Of course, that also helps in support if you do have any general questions. Um, as far as um, the actual cables on a unit are, of course, all high quality silicone, very, very high temperature. You can see how the iron flexes, the actual cord on the uh, heat gun does the same. Again, just an impeccable quality unit, very simple and concise and small and yet very, very powerful. So again, guys, check them out uh, and please check out my giveaway. If you guys haven't seen that first video, I am giving away a 908 plus to say thank you to everybody. I want to give away one of those kits, the least I can do. You guys have been wonderful over the years supporting me. Um, if you guys have any questions or uh, require quotes, once again, contact me direct at my email at storm2313 at gmail.com. Or you can contact me once again through my eDealer Direct eBay store. The links will be in the description below. I will also put a link to the system below so you guys can check it out. And of course, if there is a specific component, whether it be tips, whether it be consumables, 
anything you guys need individually, just message me and I'll do my best to support you. I can get virtually anything. Again, these units, they're designed for industrial use. So I, I think you'll be very impressed with what you've got. And again, in, in comparison to what's on the market and how complete this is, that was really what I was looking at doing, giving you guys the most value for your hardware and money. So again, thank you all. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.